this is come on demo yeah it's got it's like a double choppy thing what would you call it um if you look there's two blades so when it chops stuff it completely munches it up so i'm going to try it on the sunflower stalk see what it does hi man jump He was jumping then, wasn't he? Jump! No. Same as the flail, really, doesn't it? What's that about? 8k? That's 11k. Probably put it on the fast track. K are we going? Ten and a half K. 2.8 meters. Does anyone it's round the corner? Does anyone want to work out what we're doing? What kind of liters an acre wise? The tractor's not struggling at all though, is it? So we're just going around the outside now. And we're gonna go for this bit that was all like the wildflowers and the chamomile. Just be shredding up nicely. The idea of this flail is it, it's supposed to not a flail, sorry. The idea of this is it's supposed to be a lot more fuel efficient than a flail. It'll do the same job and be quicker because you can you've got a, you can have a lot higher forward speed. You've got a lot you're moving a lot less mass I presume and you're not sort of like tangling up in snowball effect maybe you're just chopping it and throwing it straight out, getting rid of it. I just jumped out now, this was this chamomile. It actually fell over in this direction, so we're going the wrong way really to for it to chop it well, but we'll see what it does. Nice job. You just slowed down a little bit, but You're just cutting the strings off these three quadrants because the man from Major reckons that the mower will munch these up. So I'm going to try it a minute and see. It's pretty manky. Andrew's just shoving the bales about now with the mower and then we're going to try chopping them up. Let's put one over there, there's one here and one there. I'm going to move the string so we don't tangle that up. Last year we put through the wood chipper. Just shaving it down so we don't do a shave on. But it's direct drive, isn't it? There's no belts to slip, is there like on a flail?
Cyclo Mower versus Wet Quadrant Bale of Wheat Straw. There we go, it's all gone. We're just trying it on this old pasture now, see if it rejuvenates in a bit in a few weeks. Seems to be pulling the dead up actually. So, let's see what it does. It's raining now, so we're sat in a buggy watching it. It's a bit hard to see on the video what it's doing, but if you look, can you see where he's gone through here now? It's, it's obviously looks a lot browner and deader. That's because it's pulled the dead stuff out the bottom, which is what we want, because that will encourage the new growth. So although it's taking the green tips off the top, it's also bringing the dead up. Right, it's 30 minutes since I started recording in this field and you've just finished it. So three acres in 30 minutes. It's not bad, is it? Andrew's back out spreading now. We'd had a bit of rain before, so it went a little bit sticky. So we've just had our dinner and eased off. So it's going to go and spread over the railway at Rain Hill now. Needs 2.4 tonne, which is four bags, and we've got a little bit left in the bottom, so hopefully it won't run out. Give them the uh, quick bounce. Send a shot away through them so there's no lumps in them. Andrew's gone out. Running fertiliser on that field over the railway, the one that we like, we think looks amazing, and he's time lapsed it to where it is. Right, remember a few weeks ago I was talking about the fire safety sticks? Anyway, I've been in touch with Helen, who it is that supplied them, and they sent us one in the summer. And I've been watching the videos, and we've basically bought one for every tractor, which is in this box here, which I'm going to open. But also as well, what we've done is we've done a deal where we can put them on our website, and you can order them through our website, which will come direct from fire safety stick, but a lot cheaper than you can get them on Amazon. So I'm gonna open the box and show you what's inside. But I need two hands. First thing is a flyer. It says a simple comparison. Basically, uh, a one kilo dry powder fire extinguisher discharges for six to seven seconds and only lasts five years. And a 2.2 one, uh, sorry, and it weighs 2.2 kilos. Whereas one of these things, 50 se will discharge for 50 seconds, which is, I don't know, eight times longer, lasts for 15 years and weighs 215 grams. That is why everyone is put them in rally cars. You can use them as well on more fires than any other fire extinguisher because and they don't make a mess. Also, which I didn't realize, you can use it like a, a, a safety blanket. So if someone sets themselves on fire, you can point it at them, put them out without choking them with, or suffocating them with CO2 or choking them with um, foam or, dry powder because the clever stuff in it is something that was developed by the Soviets to put out fires on their space shuttles and it only turns it basically kills the oxygen in the air to put the fire out but it only does that at the point it meets, reaches the flames so it's safe to basically put a fire out on a person with one by the looks of things right so bought one for all the tractors so that they're going to be the 50 second ones and then I bought some bigger ones for like the combine so that's like a hundred second one and then i've forgotten what that one was for was that going to be on the wood chipper i can't remember i'm hoping the brackets are inside as well to mount them in the cab well that's what it says on the box anyway so let's let's open one and see there we go yeah so it's got these two brackets there so we'll put one in the merlot now and then that's the cap to strike it you basically take that cap off and there's a little black thing like a match and you take this off that's like sandpaper strike it on there and then you point it at the fire 
And if the fire's in a building, you can actually put that on the floor, point it at the fire, shut the door, and then ring the fire brigade, if you, and it'll keep the fire suppressed before before uh, the fire brigade arrive. So that lives in there. And that lives back on there. Right, I'm just going to mount this in here. That, that's like a little bit of a hollow that probably you'd fit a fire extinguisher in. But it's not flat, what up there is, so I may as well mount it up there, out the way. There we go. The nice thing is as well, you're not gonna bang your head on it, because it's tiny and it's not a big metal cylinder, and it doesn't need testing every year. Rob's just having a bit of a tidy up. We've got some straw in the back of here that we had some manky hay in front of and some broken bales. So Rob's just digging it all out now. He's gonna stack them up there with the rest of the straw, put some hay caps on them, get this bay empty, get rid of some of these bags of seed and stuff that have been trapped in mice and rats and things. Tidy all this out, we can get some tractors in it then. Then we've not got as much stuff living outside or stuff that we're moving round and around and around. I've decided no, it's no longer cost effective to store straw in sheds. We'd sooner have other stuff in it and store them outside with hay caps. Can anyone guess what Joe's done to that? I'll give you a clue. Sounds a little bit different. I think a light bulb's gone in the offices and it's tripped the breaker. So uh, the lights aren't coming on at night, so I'm going to go and see what's going on with that. Oh, he's out of that. Quick to do the birthday bumper. Jenny Murphy is 60. Mark should have been his 40. Mike K is 82. Amazing. Gabriel Cochran is on there. Cochran, Cochran, not sure how you pronounce it. Harvey Hill is 6. Matt Dewey missed him off yesterday. Sorry, he's 29. I actually put his girlfriend's name down rather than his name. Uh, William Hoonigan Gribble is on there as well. I'm not sure how old it is. And also, Charlotte, my Charlotte, today is her birthday. So, happy birthday, Charlotte, and happy birthday, everyone else on there. And if it's not your birthday, if, sorry, if it's your birthday and you're not on there, happy birthday as well. But look at that 27,000 exactly. Someone from the Air Ambulance is coming out in April. And one of the team, I'm going to talk to them. I'm hoping that by April that might be 30 grand, which would be amazing. And I think that's about a year since we've been doing it as well, which is great. So thank you very much, everyone. Major have left this mower here with us for a few weeks to have a play and a try with. It's obviously needs a good clean off now after cutting sunflowers and grass. Uh, we haven't finished all the sunflowers. It started raining and everything was getting a bit sticky. So we'll do that probably next week. In fact, should I show you underneath it? I'll show you underneath it. You can see. Oh, I did when you unloaded it, didn't I, actually? Yeah. That's about it for today. I'm knocking off in daylight. I've got to go and get ready because I'm doing a talk for... I said Young Farmers. NFU Cheshire dinner tonight. So, off we go to that. <laughs>